Hey everyone, Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb. This nice looking little jet is a nearly 50 year old Citation One. Buy them all day for under 300 grand. And although it's not the fastest or most economical jet, it's still got game. Except maybe for the panel. Check those old school tape style instruments. Straight out of Apollo 11. This airplane does have some panel upgrades, but the engine instruments are frozen in time. Midcontinent Instruments and Avionics, a long-standing instrument specialty house, has just announced a solution for this, and here it is, the MD-23 Flex Series, with flex meaning flexibility, and the instrument appears to be on brand for that claim. It's not exactly a multifunction display because those devices are generally off the shelf and perform a narrow range of functions and little else. The Flex, on the other hand, is designed to do all these things, plus a lot of other stuff Midcontinent hasn't thought up yet, but which its customers surely will. So how's this supposed to work? Maybe a diagram will explain it. Let's take our aging yet dignified citation, but it could be a King Air or Conquest or a Cheyenne, and let's propose new gauges. The Flex is designed to be not off the shelf, but customizable. So you tell the engineers at Midcontinent what you want and how the instruments are supposed to look, and they write the code to make all that happen. More than likely, the airplane owner won't work directly with Midcontinent, but a third-party company developing STCs for aircraft that represent a viable market. As Midcontinent explains it, the process allows for quite a bit of creativity. In fact, owners will need to exercise some restraint because the Flex is versatile enough to include all these functions in a lot more in a single instrument. So human factors will have to be considered. There are two basic versions of the Flex, one with pitot-static input and one without. Also, in days of yore, you often had to buy a separate happy box data converter to make instruments like this play. But the Flex has all that built in, and it speaks both analog and A-Rink 429. Here's Midcontinent's Todd Winter to explain the basic flex market idea. So I should mention to the audience, this is a, a re-recording of a previous video. We didn't have enough information on price in there. We're going to get to that. Uh, but Todd, before we do, uh, explain the market idea behind this. What, what inspired it? Uh, the market idea is to use these newer technologies with glass displays advanced and miniature, miniaturized electronics um, with what we're able to do now with software certification and combine that into a package that can be delivered to a customer in a time shorter than a couple of years, which is what it would normally take to certify a custom type glass product or indicator and be able to do a lot of work in advance, which we have done and then be able to deliver a product after interfacing with a customer and defining what they need it to be and being able to do that in a target time of 90 days based on the complexity of what they're asking for. And you've had a lot of people ask for this kind of thing. Is that correct? Well, we have, but more so really they've asked for a replacement for older technologies and it just has usually not been cost effective or it has not been uh, you know time effective I would say so uh, what has happened in the last couple of years that has changed that made this possible uh, in a way that wasn't a few years ago well we have learned a lot about uh, uh, analog to digital conversion software certification has come a long way and a lot of it, I would say, is what we have learned, and it's not just us. Other avionics companies, too, have just come a long way being able to use software and display technology and, and become more efficient with that. And we put that together in this package with this custom display, but making it so that it can be fairly efficient for, for an STC program or a major initiative. It's not for a one-off type of application. It's for a program or for a multiple installation opportunity. As you mentioned, retrofitting King Airs is a good example. Lots of people do that. 
So that gets us to the next point, which is not really a retail product. It, it could be that, but it's really meant to be a business to business, third party type uh, product where companies that are going to market this particular capability uh, to a fleet of airplanes, could be King Air, Cheyennes, whatever, uh, will develop the STCs. You got the hardware for them to use and they'll be working with you rather than directly with the end, end user. That's typically true. Our first customer is a fleet operator. So they're able to take uh, their definition of their product and put it in multiple aircraft. And it also fills a need for something that was just no longer available in its analog state. We also expect OEMs would be very interested in this. So uh, the, th the third party part of this, the, the ecosystem really doesn't exist yet, although there are plenty of STC houses out there that, that do specialty avionics and specialty hardware. They don't really exist yet for this. So in a sense, that has to be built up. That has to, uh, you, have to you have to kind of find that market, correct? Uh, it'll be interesting to see if we do, if we do see that in an in a aftermarket type potential. Um, again, we know a lot of OEMs will be interested. We know a lot of fleet operators, maybe some airline or charter operators that operate, you know, fleet of a certain type of aircraft so they can employ it over multiple aircraft and, and amortize the cost of the software um, development, the, the uh, application that we provide. The hardware is already done. It's already done and it's certified. The uh, amortization is a good word there because uh, that gets us to price and why it's so difficult to, to put a price on this because those companies developing these markets have to find enough uh, volume and economy of scale to set pricing that makes it practical for them to do this. And of course, we don't know what that's going to be yet, but uh, you have one example, uh, although I don't think uh, you said Midcontinent is really not planning too many direct STCs itself, but you do have uh, one application for this instrument. That is true. Yeah, we, we don't have any specific plans for STCs with this right now. Um, we sell batteries from our True Blue Power Division, and we I went ahead and funded the uh, CID. The, the definition that customizes the indicator into a battery enunciator. So it gives you required parameters to install a lithium ion aircraft main ship battery into an aircraft. But yes, you're, you would need an STC for that. Um, we do have type certificates, but you would need an STC. So our indicator would be used in, in that case. In that case, I am pricing that indicator at $2,500 and I'm amortizing the, the, the application cost over what I expect to be hundreds of installations. Uh, that's a relatively simple application. So a more complex one might cost more, but uh, at this point, that's going to be up to the third parties, right? Exactly. If someone comes up with a really complicated idea, the application, um, the definition file could be more complex and could take more time. So yeah, it could, there could be something that would be significantly more expensive. But uh, overall should be competitive with what's out there right now, which I'm thinking is the, uh, uh, and you mentioned before the Garmin, the GI-275, which is an off the shelf unit uh, that can be customized only to a limited degree compared to the flex. The flex can basically do anything. Yes, I, I would say competitive with like certified products, you know, certified to a very high level um, because we know there's lots of other interesting products out there that may or may not have certification. So they don't have that cost, that development cost that goes in the product. It's not a new, uh, not a new thing for all of us to know that some certified products have a totally different price tag for, for many reasons, but certification cost is significant. All right, uh, so we'll close out here. Uh, what shows are you planning in the near-term future? Where, where will we be able to see this? 
Well, you know, we're just not really sure about the show circuit yet this year. We're, we're very hopeful that Oshkosh will be a good show for us. We know it will be a little bit different, but we're, we're so looking forward to seeing people face to face, face out there uh, in the market at Oshkosh and things like the helicopter show, NBAA, um, either later this year or next year. All right, Todd Winter, thank you very much. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing it, I hope, at Oshkosh or, or maybe even at uh, eBase when it becomes available. Thanks again. Thanks for visiting with us. You can learn more about the Flex system at Midcontinent's website, mcico.com. Thanks for watching.